It's time for some microwave magic. <laughs> oh, I love to use microwaves for fish, especially a flat fish, a little olive oil, salt and pepper, a touch of water, cover it with plastic. Really? Put it in there, really? three minutes. It's magnificent. Wow, well, GZ, I'm glad to know that you use the microwave sometimes. <laughs> All right, well, I love fried shallots. I think they're great in a salad, to top casseroles with, on a burger, you name it. I mean, it's fried. And did you know that you can avoid the mess of frying by making crispy shallots in the microwave? Yeah. Oh, nice. Jeff wants to know this. This is true. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, I've got a cup of vegetable oil. Gonna put that into a bowl. And then I've got some thinly sliced shallots. That's all you need. And Good these Lord. are going right into my oil. They're going to go into the microwave for five minutes. And then I'm just going to periodically check on them to see how they're crisping up. Turn the dial. Five minutes. On high? Start. Yep. So I'm just going to keep an eye on these. Jeff. All right, well, my microwave magic tip is gonna help you with those guacamole cravings. It's Tuesday night, taco night, right? Taco Tuesday is always a hit in my house. But when you go to the grocery store and you need ripe avocados, oh, yeah. there's either too many over-ripened avocados or just a whole just bin of under-ripened avocados. Baseballs. So I'm gonna show you a quick way to ripen these. Dare I say turbo ripen. You are hard avocado. Okay. So we're just gonna have it like we normally do. I got my microwave waiting over there, winking at me, being like, hey buddy, you gonna use me or not? <laughs> I said, it's microwave magic time. I'm gonna definitely use you. And you take that halved, you can do two at a time, depending on your plate, and you put it cut side down on a plate. Oh my okay. God. No other magic implements Nothing. of wonder. Microwave, 30 seconds, that's it. Cut side down. Now, if you're doing this for a salad, if you're doing it for, you know, a beautiful, you know, if you're making sushi at home and you want it like the beautiful avocado fanned toast. out avocado, but this is great for avocado toast and for your guac, anything you kind of want to mash up, this is it. But it's going, Jeffrey. Guess how many seconds are left? 12. You're wrong. It was 14 when you called it. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. I know you're skepticals. But what we're gonna see, this is, there's, it's very green. Oh, oh wow. But watch this. Wow. You let it cool, obviously. Look at it, it just comes right out. And now, it's beautiful. Still beautiful, mashable. Stop. Ready to go. It's little S, little P. Th and then, this is mind blowing. How about that? I love that. So what would go good on that guacamole? Some crispy fried shallots. And Aww, I think they're almost done. Let's take a look girl. at the crab. I, I definitely smell them. Me too. Ooh. Wow, fragrant. Very fragrant. Ooh. Oh, I accidentally got my little cloth in here. Oh, you could use that, that oil for Oh, cooking. for that. Imagine oh, that, yeah. right? Huh? Yeah. Oh, it'd be a great vinaigrette, too. Okay, so now I'm going to take this, strain my shallots. Brilliant. Wow, mm -hmm. they're crispy. I can hear Look it. Look at that. Look. And they're nice and golden brown. I'm going to put them onto a paper towel lined plate to let them drain. Oh my Look at God. that. Hello, now, how guacamole. easy. So easy. Let's put a little oh, sprinkle they of need, salt on oh, I love on salt them. on like that. The best. Yes. Right mm -hmm. Put these on a salad. You can save that oil soup. too, right? Yes, you Make, could use like the mayonnaise? oil for vinaigrette, mayonnaise. You could cook with it, like Alex said. Okay, let's put these on a little plate, make Scroll. them dirty. Ooh. Oh, they're hot. Mmm. I heard that. I heard it. Crispy. Audible. Crispy, tasty. I love a little bit of salt there at the end. I'm very happy with these microwave magic we got going.